First on five tonight, a local woman takes on Walmart in court and wins. At the center of this case, shoplifting accusations that led to a $2.1 million verdict. WKRG News 5's Bill Riles followed the case for months and explains why this local case that we broke is now getting nationwide attention. Leslie Nurse says she was at the self-checkout at the Sims Walmart with her husband and three kids, fighting a malfunctioning scanner, even getting help from a Walmart associate. After she thought she'd finished and paid, she was stopped by an asset protection manager. I remember going in that little room and I was like, this will be resolved. This was an accident. This wasn't on purpose. She was eventually charged with stealing $48 worth of groceries, 11 items in all, including Christmas lights, a loaf of bread, and Cap'n Crunch cereal. She was eventually arrested, mugshot taken, but the criminal charge was eventually dropped when no one from Walmart showed up to court. By then, she said, the damage to her reputation had already been done, her ability to make a living stifled by the criminal charge. What was worse, she continued to receive demand letters from a Walmart-affiliated law firm offering to drop the matter if she paid them $200. At first you think, oh, well, I'll pay it and it'll all go away. But then I'm like, you know, I, I didn't do anything wrong. Why would I pay for something that I didn't do? But it turns out many people do. During testimony in the lawsuit she filed against the company, an expert testified Walmart routinely uses what are known as civil recovery laws in many states to get people they've accused of shoplifting to pay up. University of Nebraska assistant law professor Ryan Sullivan, who has studied the practice, testified that in a two-year period, Walmart charged some 1.4 million people across the country with criminal theft of property and ended up collecting more than $300 million through their civil demand letters in the same period. The lawsuit nurse filed against Walmart charged the company with abuse of process, meaning the company used the criminal charges to bolster their chances of civil recovery. Exactly. That they probably prosecute her solely for the purpose of getting what they call civil recovery or money. To add insult to injury, Walmart never produced a video that would have been recorded at the self-checkout area that would have proved nurse shoplifted or didn't. It would have shown the truth and that they didn't want the truth to be shown. At the end of this lawsuit, filed in 2018 and delayed by the COVID pandemic, a unanimous jury found for nurse and awarded her $2.1 million in punitive damages. I hope it makes a difference. I don't want anybody else to have to go through this again. Bill Riles, WKRG News 5. Now, defense attorneys declined to comment on the verdict. In response to our story, Walmart says it discontinued the civil recovery program several years ago. A company spokesperson released a statement that reads in part, we continue to believe our associates acted appropriately. We don't believe the verdict is supported by the evidence. You can read the full statement at WKRG.com.